morning, evening, hello out there. I have a cold, so if I am talking funny, that is why. <sighs> Waiting to make sure I went live. I should get a notification on my phone. Yay, I got it. Like, usually it's faster than that. Someone took about 30 seconds. Um, we are playing Fallout today because I can, I kind of want to play PUBG, but I'm not feeling amazing. So we're doing, we're doing Fallout. Okay. I mean, it still doesn't quite say I'm live on my dashboard, but I am pretty sure, yes, I'm live. And I think everything's set up. So I have a new mod. It just came out today called Vault 28. Thanks. You're nice. It says I'm not live anymore. I am though. There we go. Now it's working. It said I was no longer like on. It reset it on my phone. <laughs> I am lagging whenever I switch back and forth. We are doing what continue is not what I want. No. I want can we do? Wait, cancel. Yes, continue. That's fine. Oh, I didn't fill my water up. I have water, but not a bunch of water. <sighs> okay. I don't think I have any companions. Ow, it's noisy. I don't know where my dog is. Oh, and I have a lot of inventory. That's not good. Transfer. Junk. Here we go, now I have 100 pounds I can carry. Just because I got rid of some junk. Okay, so this um, quest area is... I'm not sure. It's on the west side, I think. Maybe it's here-ish. You never know. I think it is. I think it's here. I think this is what the screenshot showed. Offer of purchase. Okay, let's take all. So is that it? Uh, is it, is it miscellaneous? Offer purchase. Oh. I don't want to 
miss it. Uh, offer a purchase. Read it. Mr. Chris Fredrickson. October 20th, 2077. This is an old letter. I'm surprised it's still, like, not, like, dust. Because that was 200 and some years ago. Okay, dear Mr. Fredrickson, I hope this letter finds you well. As you are aware, the completion of our newest highway in your local area is almost complete. And we are happy to confirm that we no longer have your home marked for demolition. <gasps> However, we would still like to extend our offer to buy your home from you at a generous price. As we have stated in previous letters, even if the construction of the highway didn't require you to sell your home back to the state, the noise pollution generated by both the highway traffic above as well as the traffic immediately opposite your home would be, quite frankly, intolerable. We really hope you will reconsider and allow us to move you to Sanctuary Hills where you can join your former neighbors. Yours sincerely, Mr. Gregory Jones, Managing Director, Boston Housing Association. Okay. Hey, they, thanks. You're just a peach. Um. There's someone in there. Knock, knock. Oh, sure. Just come on in. Why don't you? my day, it wasn't that uncommon for people to get this actually knock on a door. I didn't have the option of knocking. Um, been here long? Quite a nice setup you have here. How long have you been squatting here? Have you been squatting here long? I don't know. I guess I can't read. Hey, I ain't no squatter, pal. I bought this house fair and square with actual cash money, if you can believe it. Um, I'm gonna apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just from the outside. I assume this place was abandoned. No offense. Maybe they wanted me to read it like three times. Abandoned? You ignorant fu- I'll have you know, this humble home <laughs> is as sturdy as the day I bought it. I mean, who cares if all the windows are boarded up and there's holes in the roof? It's it just adds character. It. You no, know? actually. Seeing as you are trespassing here, I don't suppose you'd be willing to do this old man a favor. I would love to. Um, I'm going to continue the story along. This is a pretty spacious place for just one guy. You live alone? Just curious, are you single? My, my, you're a nosy one, ain't you? For your information, I used to live here with my husband. Cool. But that was decades ago. He's gone now. Um, are you an engineer? Why am I asking him that? Oh, you're an engineer, huh? What's that like? I didn't know he was an engineer. Well, I didn't ask the right questions at the beginning. Remember, That's weird. I've enjoyed trying to fix things. That's the one good thing about living in the Commonwealth. Lots of people like to take things apart, but a lot of people shit. don't like to fix things. Um, I'm gonna help him. Well, I guess I am the home invader here. I'd be happy to help. Really? Would? Well, I wasn't expecting that. Need I'm not even sure where this. to begin here. You see, many years ago, me and my husband, Edward, were going through one hell of a rough patch. It was around this time that he started becoming completely obsessed with that damn radio of his. Was he if he wasn't time? down in the basement working, you could guarantee he was sat in front of that blasted thing. I never did find out who he was talking to. One morning, I woke up. And the guy was gone, just like that. He'd left a note, said he wasn't coming back. Aww. I suspect that he went down into the basement, into that tunnel of his. Like I said, we weren't really on talking terms. I kind of thought he'd lost his marbles. Eventually, I did go looking for him, but I kept getting chased out of there by those damn mole rats. Don't look at me like that. I'm not expecting miracles here. I just need some closure, you know? Here's the key. The basement's down the hall. I'm super excited. Okay, so he was a ghoul, um, and I need to track him down. Is your last name Freeling as well? No, you're Chris Fredrickson. Okay, so you guys kept your original names. Your maiden names. What is this? She looks like a chicken breast. What is that? Box of 
San Francisco sunlights. What are those? I gotta look. Is it an aid? No. Is it miscellaneous? Box, 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 box. No. Is it, is it, do I already look at aids? Yeah. Junk? What is it? It's just... Wood and cloth. Are they like cigars? What are they? They're probably cigars. It looks like a cigar box. I don't know. I don't see a lot of cigar boxes. Okay, where is the... Ooh! Oh! Oh, and this stuff too we gotta investigate. Okay, so this is the first one. For Edward Freeland's eyes only. February 3rd, 2100. So it would appear that I'm absolutely awful at keeping a journal. I don't have any excuses other than I only feel like writing about life when I actually have a life to talk about. And quite frankly, the last 20 years have been a complete crap show. The only good thing is that Chris and I are still together surviving. We both seem to have adapted pretty well to our new lives out here. Chris seems to think whatever happened to us was a blessing. For example, we no longer have to search high and low for clean water anymore. He found that out the hard way. The old fool found a carton of water in an abandoned store, just picked it up off the shelf and knocked it back without giving it a second thought. As it turns out, the water was highly irradiated. He said he could feel it burning all the way down. Well, that was a year ago, and the guy is still marching around fit as a fiddle. March 10th. We met two ghouls today over in the ruins of Concord. Yes, you heard me. Apparently, that is the name our kind has been blessed with, according to these two strangers. I have to admit, it was so refreshing to find people who look the way we do and not be complete maniacs. During our conversation, Chris happened to be drinking some water we found when one of the strangers knocked it clean out of his hand. They explained to us that there are two types of ghoul, us and those who went feral. Going feral depends hugely on how the radiation has affected your brain. Turns out we might have to quit drinking the bad water. <laughs> April 14th. You know what I used to take for granted? Telephones. Just being able to have the occasional chinwag with a friend from the comfort of my own armchair. Those were the days. I was discussing this with one of our new friends from Concord, Craig. It was he who switched me onto this neat ham radio idea. You'd think with most of the world being dead and random pockets of irradi irradiate survivors being here and there, I'd have tried to get one working sooner. It's going to be so nice to speak to people again. I mean, no offense to Chris, but that man is becoming increasingly harder to talk to. May 2nd. In the early hours of the morning while Chris slept, I snuck off to my office to tinker with my favorite new toy. Just as the radio was powering up, I noticed that I wasn't on the correct frequency to be able to communicate with Concord. I must have clumsily knocked the dial while powering it off last night. Just as I was about to change the frequency, I started hearing a series of faint beeps. It would seem I'm going to have to dig out my old Morse code book. May 10th. I don't know where to start. I've been having conversations in Morse code for over a week now. Whoever I'm speaking with claims that they're unable to communicate by voice as their transmitting signal is too weak. They're also being a little secretive with regard to their location. I might give up communicating with them. Okay. Let's play this one. Oh, there's only one. February 25th, 2110. That's quite quite a while later, isn't it? 2110, 10 years later. I'm not going to write more excuses explaining why it's been 10 years since my last journal entry, but I will say that since discovering the Morse code frequency, my life has gotten a whole lot busier. As it happens, Chris and I aren't doing so well anymore. I mean, I was happy to retire with the man I love, but retirement was 30 years ago. I'm 93 now, and I just want to leave. Not entirely sure where, but as long as it's far away from here. It's a funny thing to try and wrap my head around being this age and wanting to go and start a new life. According to Craig, this too is a side effect of our condition. Still feeling in your prime when you're pushing 100. I suspect me feeling this way also has something to do with Alex, though. Alex is the person I've been communicating with via Morse code all this time. Over the years, we've become quite close. I know it doesn't make sense. How can you develop feelings for someone when all they've done for the last 10 years is beep at you? <laughs> I can't explain it, but through our lengthy conversations, he told me that he is, in fact, a vault dweller. I can't help think of the irony. If I hadn't been so determined not to let Vault Tech move us to one of their vaults, I could have been with this person in the flesh. 
Apparently due to numerous malfunctions that the vault has sustained over the years, it's become almost impossible for them to reach the surface now. Alex gave me the coordinates of the vault and after I spent days searching the surrounding area for any sign of an entrance, I came up with nothing. Wherever the entrance was, it's not there now. Craig suspects it might have been destroyed during the quakes that came days after the bombs fell, which means I now spend the majority of my time down in the basement digging. Yeah, Chris is a little cross with me. Okay. One. Okay, so there's his ham radio. There's tinkery bits. Ooh, there's more stuff! 2080, 2070. Okay, so this is gonna be earlier one. I'm just gonna skim through it. Oh, Happy New Year! Um, Splash is melting. Um, he was in pain. <laughs> Chris was gone. Oh no. So yeah, Chris left the house. Okay, and then this one. Oh, it has a lot of entries too. Um, he's getting on with Chris. Oh. He so Chris saw somebody, but he couldn't reach them. Things are in the sewer. Tunnel snakes. She was sitting on the park bench. Okay, it was easy to see she'd gone through. Okay, so she was a ghoul as well. Oh no. Oh, so she was a feral ghoul. Um, Chris was attacked. Okay, yeah, the crazy feral ghoul. He said when he arrived there this morning, she was no longer on the bench, but standing in the water, chasing fish. Aw, thanks for the lurk, Mochi. Um, let me see. Let's take... Oh, there's another one. This is an earlier one. Okay, so this is like... Okay, so this is before the bombs fell, because they fell on the 20th. Okay, um... So everybody's moving out of the neighborhood. Um... <laughs> selling the house. They don't want to. Two families. Us in the Whitfields. And then... This one. Vault tech stamp. Oh my goodness. Apparently we agree to sell up. We are being offered a placement in one of their swanky vaults up near Sanctuary Hill. Well, you guys would have died. Sorry to tell you. I'm the only one who survived. Um. Oh, so Chris didn't even know about it. Okay. What's on the computer? Home is where the heart is. Uh, I'm good. Screwdriver. What are those? Sentry boy. I like or sentry sentry bot. Um, I like the models. I like how this is burning constantly. Gun. Oh, a nice big open concept in here. Lots of money. Oh, Jingles, the moon monkey. It's hard to see his face. Don't think I need, I'm just, I don't want to miss anything and knock something over. I don't want to miss anything. I don't know what that noise is. Maybe I didn't knock something over. Do I need a shovel? I'll take that. Yay! Drive-in. Oh, drive-in fly out. It's not what I would have guessed. Ooh! Fusion core. For my outfit. Oh, and there's another one. 2120. I didn't read it. Okay, August 5th. 
I can't believe I'm almost there. It's taken me almost 10 years of constant digging, but my shovel hit metal plating this morning, the vault. Alex is just on the other side. Rather than breaking my way in, immediately I stopped. For the first time in 10 years, all the determination to make it there disappeared and I was left with the worst anxiety. What if Alex isn't like me in person? All he's going to see is a damn corpse turn up on his doorstep. What about the rest of the vault? How are they going to react when they see me? I need a few days to think about what I'm going to do. Yeah, what if they don't want to open the vault? Oh, I brought Chris down to the dig site this morning. I could see it in his face. He thinks I've gone completely mad. I suspect he no longer believes my lies. Years ago, I told him the reason I was digging was because I had confirmation that there were people trapped in an underground vault. When in reality, I just wanted to be with Alex. Alex is my only reason for doing all of this. Chris did cheer up a little later, though. Once I showed him the pool and waterfall. After a couple of bottles of wine, things began feeling a little like they used to. It was a nice way to say goodbye. Aww. Well, that's it. I spent most of the night cutting through the metal paneling with my circular saw blade. I must have gotten through five blades before I began hearing the metal buckle. All it's going to take now is one swift hit with my sledgehammer and it will breach. So long, journal. Edward X. I love their stockpile of stuff down here. Don't want to miss anything. Mention my hammer. Is that what is that the sledgehammer he was talking about? Oh, I didn't I didn't know it was gonna fall. Oh my gosh. There's another shovel. So many shovels. They really want to make sure you're set. Do I fall down there? Oh good, there's there's a ladder. Um how do I how do I get on the ladder? We gotta just fall. How do I get out? The ladder's broken. Okay. No turning back now. I jumped in. Left or right? Let's go right. Which goes left? Oh my goodness. I get lost. Okay. Oh! Handprints! Bloody handprints. I don't need fungus. I don't know. Let's go right. I like to stay right. Let's make sure we come. Oh, more bloody handprints. Maybe I have to follow the bloody handprints. I should go the other way. Nice. A little, little spot to recover. Is there a bed? There is a bed. Oh, a note! A note! Edward's note, read it. Chris, if you're looking for me, follow the sound of water. So not this way. I just want to go the dead end way. Can you imagine? Did he dig out this whole thing or was this already an underground cave area? Oh my goodness. Got you. Oh, that one's legendary. Bolstering synth arm. It is pretty fun. It's a new area. A new mod. Oh, I exploded. Okay, so dead end. Right, dead end? No, not a dead end. It looks like a dead end. I'm gonna get so lost. Oh, nice. 
friends. Do they come down here and like hang out? Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, what is this called? Diving board. <laughs> Can I get out if I swim? Let me save it just in case. Whee! Oh shoot, I'm in power armor. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, is this a walkway? Is this a walkway? Oh, oh, oh. Don't jump in the water with power armor on. That was a bad, bad idea. Okay, well it was fun. Let's not do it again. Aw, flower, some wine. This looks like a fun area. I would go here. As long as the water doesn't have any radiation in it, I'm guessing, it would be fine. Are there two? This one? Okay, so now we're gonna go this way. Your graphics card looks the exact same. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so follow the bloody handprints. I think. Oh, I've already been here. We'll go this way. I was going to say, we can't go this way. The sound that I know this is the sound of water. Do I have to climb this? This is the sound of water. Do I have to blow that up? Can I blow it up? Weapons. Grenade. How do I throw a grenade? Is it alt? No. Control? No. No. What's the grenade button? Shift? No. Let's look it up. G? Not G. Settings. Controls. Grenade. 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 Left alt. I tried left alt. Have to hold it. It was a good guess. Okay, that didn't work either. This is the beginning, right? Where I came from? Oh, there's blood! Oh, gross. Gross, lots of blood. Didn't notice that my first time. Yeah, I have no clue either, and it's a new, it's a new mod. It just came out, I think it just came out. Oh, maybe I can use a shovel on it. Oh, maybe I go this way. I didn't go this way, did I? No, I did go this way. water this way though too. We're just going to run around until we figure out what we're doing. Seems to be a good plan. Do 
Do you think maybe it's in the water? I don't think it's in the water. Let me go check out the water a little bit more. Without my power armor on. I'll try that. nothing in here. <gasps> I don't want to drink it. I got out. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm free. There has to be some sort of um, way that I did not try yet. Okay, so this is the beginning. It's where you come and you can either go left the way I came, or you can go right, and then this way goes to that storage room area. Let me try the shovel. I think I'm gonna like the shovel idea. See, weapons, because can't you use a shovel? No, you can't use a shovel. Maybe I have to look around. Well, this is gonna be a bust if I can't do this. Maybe I have to crouch. Maybe I can't be in power armor. Really don't know. Maybe I should harvest the brain fungus. Crouch. Let's pull up our map. I feel like that's the way. Yeah, it's down there. How do I get through this? <gasps> What's this way? Never mind. Let's try another way. I walk so much faster without this power armor. But I don't want to leave it behind. What if I need it? sure there's nothing I'm missing in here. So I need to go left. Look at that. I guess not. Hmm. This way? Did I go down here yet? I didn't go down this way. I found it. Do I need maps? Found a new area. I am progressing. Let's save it. Although this looks very familiar. I guess I haven't been here. Hey, Wicked Girl Gaming, how's it going? I'm doing great. I found it! Oh, nice! So this is the sledgehammer you use. There's more blood there. Uh, I guess we go in. I'm super nervous. 
Any other clues? Some rad X. I don't like that clue. Here we go. Vault 28. So ready. I'm ready for this. There's a person. Shh. Gotta be sneaky. Turn my light off. What? Thank you. Depot. Let's go in the depot. Ah! Oh! No! Whoa! I wanted, I wanted to be friendly with you! Okay, you can just stand there. That's fine. I'm okay with you standing there. I blew her head up. I thought they were gonna be friendly. Are they feral? Confused now. You know, I've never used paint in this game. They have paint that you can use. I guess the paint stuff. I have no need for it. Not take all, take all, because it weighs nothing in this playthrough. What is that? Fusion cores. See, he's evil too. Why are they all evil? Huh? Uh oh. What the? Oh, she fell. <laughs> okay. There's another one right there. Calm. It's probably nothing. Probably nothing. I thought they were gonna be friendly. Bulletin board. Uh, remember, hard work is happy work. Upcoming events, Monday the 12th. It's that time of the month again, people. Karaoke night. We will supply the equipment and you can all supply your wonderful singing voices. Remember, if you can't carry a tune, all the better. Earplugs will be available upon request. The cafeteria on floor two is where you need to be at 1800 hours. Friday the 16th. A special remembrance ceremony will take place this Friday to remember those that were tragically lost in the vault entrance incident. Three maintenance workers and three engineers tragically lost their lives while carrying out an inspection of the vault's elevator shaft, which became partially buried, <laughs> like a like a fruit bur buried, <laughs> during the earthquakes we endured shortly after our arrival. You're all invited to pay your respects Saturday the 17th. Come one, come all, the Saturday's big boxing championship finale, which will see Mr. Jerry Adams from our security staff take on Daniel Clark from our clinical staff. Please remember that gambling on the fight is strictly forbidden. Personnel changes. We wish to welcome Dr. Elizabeth Whittaker to her new post as head doctor at the clinic. Many of you will remember that Elizabeth was valedictorian of her graduating class, so we've always expected great things from her. No pressure. All of your medical files have been relocated to Dr. Whittaker, and we request that all citizens make appointments for checkups in the oncoming weeks. Maintenance staff change. We welcome Ryan James as custodian technician. Ryan will be responsible for all custodial duties on the residential level. If you have any lavatory issues or a wastebasket that needs emptying, Ryan is your man message for all students so these are students um a message from mrs king to all of our students please remember that monday the 12th kicks off the start of history month so please why would the 12 why would it start in the middle of the month okay kicks off the start of history month so please bring the correct textbooks to class any pupils who forget their books will be strength sent straight back home State of emergency. This is an emergency announcement. A breach has been detected inside the vault. All residents are to report back to their quarters immediately and stay there until further notice. This is not a drill. All available security personnel, your presence is required on floor three, residential. Dr. Whittaker, your presence is required on floor three, residential. State of emergency canceled. 
This is an emergency announcement. It is now safe for all residents to leave their quarters and return to their duties. The situation is under control. Follow up. Under no circumstances are vault residents to enter the storeroom on the residential floor. The room has been sealed pending an investigation. Medical requirement inoculations. Due to the vault breach that occurred on the 18th, all inhabitants are required to visit the clinic on Monday, 2nd September, where you will be administered an immunity booster. This is to combat any potential side effects that may occur due to contaminant exposure. Please contact Dr. Whittaker, who will arrange your appointment times. Thank you. Is this the same? Yeah, they're all the same bulletin boards. Anything special in you? More bulletin boards? Yeah. Why do you hate me? Requires keys. Okay, so I gotta go find it. Nothing. Why's it gotta be so quiet? Oh my gosh, come on. Your eye didn't even hit you in the face. Oh, he's in a nice bathrobe. Oh, oh, it looks like it's flapping open. Well, nothing to see now. Oh, uh, just one day I'd like not to get shot at. Where's the danger at? I don't see them. I'm back here, damn it. I don't know who's trying to shoot me now. Bulletin board. I don't want to shoot everybody. I wanted to make friends with everybody. They don't like me though. Howard. The laundry area. Whoa! You are always gonna have clean clothes here. I want the nine bottle caps. I mean, I don't need the money, but nine is nine is more than zero. Bathrobe, clothes, glasses. Is this like the lost and found? Oh, look at that. That's really cute, like how they have it set up. Uh, security armor, hazmat suit. Wonderful. I thought I saw someone moving up there. Guess not. I guess let's go in the showers. Oh, maybe in here? Surely there's a key in here, in a toilet. That's what you want. Oh, hi. You're killing me! Yeah. Wish I could pacify them. Like they're animals or something. Like, where'd he go? Oh, he exploded.
ました。So that's the shower. So I've already okay. Let's keep going. Let's unlock it. Got it. Oh, it's a lot of beds. Oh my goodness, how many kids do they have? Oh, is this like a nursery? It's kind of like a daycare type thing? What was... This is weird. Where does this go? Nice. Excuse me. Well, I can't see if you're armed or not, but you sure made one hell of a noise coming down that hall. What a way to wake up the entire vault. Seriously, good job. Um, survival. How have you even survived this long down here in this small room? I guess that's what I'm asking. Oh, don't be foolish. I don't stay in here all the time. I locked myself in here once the shooting started. Thanks again, by the way. Um, have you been here long? Well, I'm not usually in the habit of telling my life story to any scoundrel who happens by. But seeing as you're the first outsider I've seen in almost 200 years, <laughs> how can I refuse? I was born here back in 2096. Can you believe it? I know, I know. I don't look a day over 25. Um, you're safe. I'm armed, but you're not in danger for me. I guess. My dog is oh, snoring. I wasn't worried, dear. I may be blind, but if you test me, you won't even see it coming. Anyway, now that you're here, I don't suppose you'd be willing to do me the smallest of favors? Uh, you're not a ghoul? Um, I don't understand. How come you're not like the rest of them out there? Oh, I am. On the inside, at least. Uh, no, I'm not being metaphoric. Like them, I was forced to take a serum by the overseer. For most, it turned them into what you see out there in the corridor. I was the exception. The only one the serum actually worked on with minimal side effects. It extended my lifespan exponentially, but took my sight. They don't attack you? Well, because you're one of them, I guess. So the others let you move around freely without giving you any grief? For some reason, the ones on this level have always counted me as one of their own. Down on the lower levels, however, is another matter entirely. Lower In levels. a nutshell, up here they're crazy. Downstairs, they're even worse. Um, so I guess I'll help. Well, it's the least I can do after giving you a scare. What do you need? Great. You see, when I was a child growing up here, my father was the senior engineer. <laughs> he always wanted me to follow in his footsteps. Every night after class, he'd set up a small table for me in his workshop and show me how to create circuit boards. On the day he died, he was carrying the only circuit board I'd ever finished in his toolbox. It should still be there, somewhere on the lower levels. I got the elevator key! Can I read? Is all the games. Atomic Command, Red Menace, Zeta Invaders, Grognock, and the Ruby Ruins. I haven't played that one yet. And Pitfall. It's gonna be fun. Moldy food. Lunchbox. So this is the game room. There's a cat! 
What's in this next room? Hey, how are you doing, Grand? Bobby pin. Okay, so this room isn't as fun. There's no games. What's in this room? How you doing, Grand? Yes. Let's do this. I want them to like me, but they don't like me. So I have to shoot them. Just noises. Sure, just noises. Are you dead? She's dead, right? I'm doing great. Huh. Having a good time. That bobby pin broke. Sweet. They fell very interestingly. Um, the cafeteria is this way. I don't think, no, I have been to the cafeteria. Have I not been missed someplace? It is a mod. Because I want more stuff to do. I've played the game so much. And it's a brand new mod, so checking it out. See, that's when I came in from. So I've now gone full circle. Yeah, I usually don't either. Terminal somewhere. Okay, we need the terminal. Um, but I've played so much like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, and I haven't played quite as much of Fallout 4. I guess I don't like the storyline as much. So, I've used mods. But I usually like playing it just the way that it's made. have it. I lost both elevators. Oh, you're on console, so you don't even get the option. I'm on PC, so so I can I can use mods. My kids always take my consoles. So if I have a console, they're always trying to play on it. I know, I'm kind of excited. I'm nervous at the same time. I'm optimistic, but I don't want to have my my um, hopes and dreams crushed with the multiplayer options. I'm gonna get my place. My little town is gonna be nuked. I know it is. What? Oh, that's just another elevator. Been, wait, what?
The beta, is that out already? For people to try? The pre-orders? In the waiting. Platinum Assassin's Creed series. Why am I going nowhere? Do I need to go to this one? I don't think I'm moving. You don't play multiplayer? Well, Fallout 76 is multiplayer. Beta's in October. Man, I thought they were saying August. Um. Oh, wait, they're not dead. They're laying on the ground sleeping. I was just about to say, I don't remember killing this one. Oh no. Fallout six. One. Glory these glow. Yeah, sure. These are just mindless husks, though. Clinic. Let's go in the clinic. Sweet. Oh, no. Right, he's bad? Yes. Want to make sure before I shoot him. Hate to make an enemy of someone who is going to be nice to me. I hear noises. Oh, that's a skeleton. Go check out the desk. Is it they will force us to play multiplayer to get all the achievements? Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see once it comes out. Did you see the, um, the E3 announcement with Todd Howard? Well, it's my first day on the job, and I've already been to the lavatory five times this morning. I really must relax. I just have to remember I'm a doctor in an underground vault where nobody has so much as a common cold. Honestly, how bad could things get? Miss um, Lewis has the worst case of hypochondria I've ever seen. You're sure they will do it? We'll see. Uh, the overseer was kind enough to stop by the clinic this morning. He said he's merely doing the rounds, but I'm not a fool. He was checking in because of Miss Lewis. On the bright side, the overseer seems genuinely pleased with how we're running things. Take that, Miss Lewis. I do. Sorry. I like the storylines. Um, well, this is something I've never thought I'd see in my lifetime. In the early hours of the morning, all the alarms sounded. I've never heard such a ruckus. Security staff were everywhere in minutes. Turns out someone from the outside managed to breach their way in here. Security brought me up to one of the storerooms to conduct some scans, and that's when I saw him. Well, I assumed it's a, it's a him. He's horribly disfigured. His skin has been ravaged by what I can only guess is radiation burns. QuakeCon. Oh, goodness. Was it? I will. Let me let me type that in and then I'll check it out after I'm done streaming. Oh gosh, my fingers are not on the right. There we go. I was typing, but I was off by like one button. I have to read the terminals, because that's how you get the story. You wish they showed more gameplay? They just showed a lot about the card perk system. Okay, so that's the 18th, which is when the breach was. This is a few days later. 
We're currently pre prepping our new guest for surgery. Poor man is in so much pain he passed out on his way to the clinic. He's taken quite a bad fall, which has resulted in a pretty bad broken leg. Weirdly, other than the bone that's currently protruding out of his leg, the rest of his health seems normal. Is this what's become of the rest of the human race? I don't know. Come up to the surface. So our new guest, Edward, has been alert and responsive for a few days now, but his leg is healing at an unprecedented rate. When changing his bandages, I took note that the wound itself looked as if it were weeks old, not just a few days. Edward must have seen the look of surprise on my face because he then, he then proceeded to tell me that for decades he has never been sick and whenever he injured himself, it took no time at all to heal. It appears there are pros and cons to gene damage. The story of Adam's path, that one's a pretty good one. But if you didn't read anything, you wouldn't know about it. The scientists downstairs in research have suddenly become very interested in our guest. They've requested all the data I have on him. I'm supposed to bring the data and Edward down to research this evening so they can run some tests of their own. I ran the request by Edward himself and he's agreed. He is too accommodating. I'm going to keep my eye on him while he's down there. Something doesn't feel right. Is he going to be like a test subject? Praise the Adam. No, again, let me read it. So the overseer has informed me that we have to start administering the mandatory inoculations tomorrow. We have to tell people it acts as a sort of booster for the body's immune system. I find this all very suspect. For one, the boys down in the research aren't per permitting me to run my own tests on this serum, and they won't provide me with any details to how it functions. I haven't even been here a month yet, and I'm already thinking about going against the overseer on this. Do I praise the atom? I do not. I'm against... I'm against it. Well, okay, I guess if it would give me everlasting life, I guess I could praise the atom. As long as they didn't become feral. But you never know how your brain's going to react to it. I'm getting a phone call. You're going to have to wait a second because it's from my kid's school.
I'm back. Don't you love it when you get a call from the, from the, uh, from your kid's school and they're like, your kid's having some issues. <sighs> How do you get your kid to do homework? Tell me that. Tell me that. I need to know. Because my kid doesn't want to do his homework. Who would he fight say? No one, thank goodness. He's only punched one person. He's been punched a gazillion times, but he's only punched one person. But he's struggling with homework because he doesn't think he needs to do his homework. He's in sixth grade. He had a hard morning this morning as well. Where are we at? Gosh. Oh, your leg's gone. You didn't do anything in sixth grade. Middle school was horrible for me. Yeah, like he is really strong. See, I don't, I can't relate to this part of him because for me, like, I'm sure I missed. Your arm's gone. Ah, there's another one. For me growing up, I always wanted all my homework to be perfect. I'm quite a perfectionist, unfortunately. I've had to learn to say like, this is good enough. I don't need to work on this for a few more hours to make it 1% better when it's something that I should get done in less than an hour. I don't need to spend five hours on it making sure it's perfect. I don't know, the struggles of raising kids. We've just had like a bad, how long has it been? Probably a bad, a bad six months I would say is probably when it started to get bad. I don't know, he's always struggled with school and not in terms of like, he's not smart because he is very, very smart. Oh, I didn't even go in that room. But that's part of his problem is he's smart and he doesn't want to do the work. He already thinks he's smart. And that's what he says is like, I'm smart. I don't have to learn this. I'm smart. And I'm just like, you learn quickly. Not you're, you're not like just born knowing everything, but he does learn very quickly. In middle school, you only did homework for teachers you liked. Okay. See, that's what, okay. So the lady who called me, I talked to two, they conference called me ganging up on me, making me feel bad. <laughs> Um, but it's not my fault. I'm trying to make him be independent and responsible for his stuff. And he can't seem to handle it. So got to crack that whip down on him. Um, but yeah, the one teacher was like, it's really just my homework he's not doing. And I'm like, oh, no, I know what that means. He doesn't like your class. He, I don't, it's, it's, I think it's social studies. But she's like, we have a big assignment that's now two weeks late. I'm like. How is he freaking two weeks late on an assignment? You know, I make him check his folders every day. We go through his whole binder because he just shoves stuff in his binder. And it's like, you know, you gotta keep it organized so you know what you're doing. And he seems to struggle with that. So we go through his, his trapper keeper every day. And then, we go through like his bags because sometimes it doesn't make it in his binder. And so we have to go through the bags. So we go through the bags every day to make sure we're not missing something. So that means, and they're like, we make sure he's been taking his homework home in this particular folder. And I'm like, oh no, he's hiding it or he's throwing it away. Cause that's what he did last year. You're in senior year right now and you have like two times less homework than you did in middle school. I don't think there needs to be much and he doesn't have much homework. They're supposed to have no more than 40 minutes a night. And if they even try to spend more than an hour on their homework, I guess we're supposed to stop them. Because when they're trying to be perfect. But you know what? I, I have the, the opposite problem. He's not trying to, trying to work on it and get it perfect like me. Because that was me. I would spend hours on my homework.
He wants to get it done as fast as possible. He doesn't care if it's messy. He doesn't care if it looks good. He doesn't care if you can read it or not. It's awful. They don't know what to do about it. Like we keep trying different techniques and different ways for him to organize himself. I mean, right now, when he was younger, we had to have a list of like what he had to do in the morning before school because he really struggled. We have lists all over the house for him. And we just moved um, about a year ago. And so we took the list down to see if maybe he could handle it with no lists in the house and he can't. He can't. He can't get himself ready today. He couldn't even get himself ready with the list. Are you alive? No, you're dead. You're missing an arm. Where's your arm? He loves video games and he wants to like make games and so sometimes he works on coding and stuff like that and he picks it up really fast and I'm like, this is awesome, you know, making a game but then he just gets tired of it or it becomes too much work for him and he gives up. Because if it takes work, he doesn't want to do it. This is hard. I don't want to do it. You know what? You gotta do hard work. Where'd you go? I work hard all the time, and I'm hoping that, like, my husband and I, like, rub off on him. Like, look how hard we work. My husband works really hard, and he works at home, like, off the clock, basically, because he doesn't count it as working. So sometimes he works at home. He already has to get in over 50 hours a week like at work he travels last minute and he works really hard I mean he gets paid really well but he works really hard and so I want our kids to see that I work really hard trying to make sure everything's perfect that doesn't always work but you know what I try you probably started cracking down on homework sophomore year and that was because you were able to actively check your grades oh exactly so that's another thing he does is he will like monitor his grades like he'll be getting a's and then all of a sudden he goes down to like oh i don't need to do any homework because i have a's so then i'll get f's you just saw this and you were wondering whether to get it yeah yeah it's so far it's pretty cool i like this mod it's only because you go to a school where you get kicked out if you don't have a certain gpa well that would be nice he just goes to a public school so um we can we do have grades online we've always had that since um well, since elementary school, we've been able to go online and check grades. Um, that's something he can do and go see his assignments and see his average. And we, we do that to be like, look at your grades. They're not doing good right now. And then he'll get like A pluses on everything. And then he brings it back up to like an A minus. And then he's like, I got an A. I don't need to do any homework now. How are you doing, Torchwood? It is, an, it is a new mod. That's kind of partially why, why I'm playing it. I want more Fallout stuff to do. So many shovels. Hydroponics. Right now I'm frustrated at my sixth grader. I don't know how to be a parent. <laughs> but here I am. Being a parent. I don't know what I'm doing though. Obviously I'm doing it wrong. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're doing well. Nice. Oh, I got an email. We make sure it's not from the teachers. Oh no, hi dude is following me. Make sure it's not an email from the teacher. Like, oh, we forgot to tell you this part. And he's having to do like, <laughs> thank you for the follow. He's doing um, what they call working lunches, which means he has to work during his lunch period because he's not turning his homework in. Or he's not doing, sometimes it's if you don't do in-class assignments. You have to do a working lunch. Yes, I liked it. He's eating too, though. I think he got down. He took it down. Oh, hi, you're still alive. Here, now you're not. I took care of that for you. Oh, the teddy bear! <laughs> That's a really cute cone. I like the cone. It's tiny, it's like a toy cone.
Yeah, so for me, I don't I never needed like motivation or like outside forces to make me do my homework. I always did my homework and I did a good job and I didn't cheat ever. Oh my gosh, never would I cheat. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's so cool. So I just, I don't know how to motivate my son other than I try to do stuff like get him interested in it because if he's interested in something, he can get hyper-focused on something and just like go crazy and like learn a ton. And it's, it's awesome because he learns really fast. But history month. Um, I just, I don't have experience with this kind of stuff. That's not how I am. My husband's like, oh, I was kind of that way. I didn't want to do my homework, and I would always try to, like, do the bare minimum. But it's, you know, he doesn't have any ideas either. 32 viewers. Hi, look at Zanebot, people. <laughs> Thanks for the host. This morning I had to calm down a classroom full of overly excited kids. They were more hyped up than that time. The Nuka-Cola machine began rapidly ejecting Nuka-Cola all over the cafeteria. Aimbot, how you doing? Thank you for the host. Hey, Crawford. You're doing great. Awesome. Did you, I saw you were playing more of your game. I popped in for a little, I didn't say hi, but I stopped by for a little bit. Yeah, it looks awesome. It does look really fun. You are playing, hold on, I'll give you a shout out. You're playing, what is it called? I'm gonna mess it up, so it'll it'll show me in just a second. Black Desert Online. Yeah, that game looks really cool. Omni Gamer, thank you for the follow. Oh, there's no lethal pathogens or radioactive particles in the environment. 10 a.m., you're supposed to be in the clinic getting a booster shot, but you're not going. They told us the scans that were conducted after Edward's arrival showed no signs of contamination. The room itself has been sealed since by the booster. What's even in the booster? Dr. Whittaker herself told me she wasn't too sure, so I refused. I've even suggested to the parents of my students not to take them either. Oh my goodness, everybody's in here. Suppose you should follow. See, your bro doesn't yell at you. You don't have to follow me, Amp. Um, go the cool people. What do I usually play? Oh, yeah, you see me. I use the Fallout. I love, I do love Fallout. Um, everybody, everybody should follow. Oh my goodness, thank you for the follow, Amp. I appreciate it. I'm stuck. There we go. Got stuck in a chair. It's probably my big butt or something. Um. Yeah, that game looks really fun that you're playing. Um. Yeah, I play a lot of Fallout. I like Skyrim. Um. I like PUBG, but I don't play it too much. I, I just hit 50 hours in PUBG. I'm pretty excited. Um. I've never won by myself on PUBG, but it's fun. I love it. I don't know, I like to shoot things, and I like games that make me think. I play a lot of games. I have a lot of games in my Steam account that I haven't played yet. Does that count? Those Steam sales. Man, I just, I can't help myself. I find a sale and I get everything. Teacher's note, let's read it. I've locked myself in here for safety. Everyone is going insane. It started with the security chief bell and then it just kept happening. I've never seen anything like this. I hope security will come for me soon. I wish I'd packed my office up with actual food instead of my vices. Oh no. Oh, let's take it. So she died. Um, oh, she killed herself. Last note, nobody came. Oh, interesting. So lots of booze is in here. Oh, she didn't even drink at all. Or he? No, it's a she. There's a dress. Okay, let's continue investigating this vault. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Crawford. Oh, look, they're doing a performance. 
They're dancing. Look at them dance. <laughs> he does kind of look like he's dancing. <laughs> Let's go kill him. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the host, Wild Bill. Let's unlock this door. They're all locked everywhere. Good thing I'm good at picking these locks. Yes. Oh no. We're gonna be on the top of Fallout streams this right? Oh cool. I'm not gonna complain with that. <laughs> Knock up the little sneaky person. Is there another one in here? No, that's a dead body. Anybody on the ground still alive? Ooh, an elevator access card. Perfect. We can go to another floor. Can we turn the music on? Well, they were dancing to the music in their head. There's not a lot of people that watch Fallout 4 right now, are there? Now I'm curious. You have piqued my interest. Uh, I'm I'm number three. <laughs> That's pretty good. Because of all those hosts, that's so nice of everybody to host me. Pretty good amount considering. Yeah, like, well, sometimes I check and it's like the, it's like a big streamer and they're playing Fallout 4. The top one has 63 viewers and it's his first playthrough. 200 plus hours in. Hey, Aimbot, how you, how you doing? Welcome back. Um, let me see. Is there anything else in this room that I need to pick up? Uh, I wonder what they were drinking. Coffee or, like, tea? I can get behind both. We need to shut that game off so you get ready for work. Are you still playing that game? At least it's fun. It's always nice to have a Sweet. nice, fun hobby. Oh, no. I'm just running around. Look at this guy. I'm gonna shoot, I always shoot him in the butt. Cause it's like a big target. He doesn't have anything good on him. Yeah, I was watching you play it and I was like, I kinda wanna play this. And I was like, maybe I can buy it. And I was like, no, because I don't, I'm not gonna play it right now. So I'm just going to add to my collection of games I don't play. I have enough of those. You're at that point where you've gotten bored of most games, forced to go back to games for nostalgia? Yes! Well, and guess what? When you have kids, you can make them play games you played as a kid! <laughs> play with me! Or you can be like, I don't know how to do this Super Mario one. And they're like, whoa, how'd you do it so well? And you're like, I'm just good. I'm an original gamer. Hyped for Fallout 76? Yes. I kind of want to pre-purchase it as well, just so I get access to the um, beta. I'm, de I'm debating, like, do I want to play the beta? Will I get frustrated if it's not, like, perfect? Probably not, because I play these mods and some of the mods are messed up. I don't know. I don't I'm probably gonna gonna pre-order it. You should have gotten the uh I wanna call it Angel Desert. What is it called again? Give me a second. Uh Black Desert, not Angel Desert. Why am I thinking Angel Desert? Can I not? Uh Vault Tech has ejected a hard Drisk problem. Back up your files immediately to prevent information loss and then contact the terminal mouth. 
manufacturer determine if you need to repair or replace the disc. You heard, you've heard progress made in the beta will carry over. I know there's another one. I'm like, oh, maybe I should, maybe I should get it. Maybe I should. Oh, I don't have a key. Who has the key? Do you have the key? You have a children with Adam Discord ready to take over West Virginia. Oh my goodness. Really? Well, I think you can't. I think he said there's only going to be like a couple dozen per. That's going to be awesome though. I can't. I cannot wait. I'm so hyped about Fallout 76. Okay, this is boring. There's no details. No good details. Give me the juicy stuff. Gold watch, rounds. Nothing I want. Okay, let's go in here. We'll open this door. I broke a bobby pin. I'm gonna run out. Got it. Are you dead? Are you dead? 32 max players per server, they said. See, I, I guess I need to like do more research on it because I haven't I didn't I didn't know how many. 32. With group yeah, I know the groups of four people. I'm so excited. And like you can, you can like play with different people and you still save your progress. I'm very excited. I guess let's open this door and check this door out. You know all the possible info. You became obsessed since it was announced. I guess I'm trying to not like get my hopes up too high. Cause I'm not, I'm not that aware of what's going on in the game. Do you have a key on you perhaps? Nope, no keys down there. I need the key. No way to pick this. On the floor or something? Where's the key at? I know they're not, it's not going to be through Steam. It's going to be through a Bethesda launcher. Right? Hear that part right? Which way do I go? Why don't I have a map? Where's my map? Yeah, I've heard some people are upset about it. That's probably why I heard about it. Oh, it's an elevator. That's an elevator. Ooh, lavatories. Don't know why they can't just call them toilets or washrooms or something. Messing up, messing up. My bad aim. I'm looking for a key. Oh, sorry. Give you some privacy. Not in there. Oh, you're a star one. It's gone. Soap. Box of soap. Do you have a key on you? No.
Another, yes, this one is Vault 28. It's called The Absent Ghoul. I'm looking for this guy. I think his name is Chris. I'm looking for his husband, and I'm excited. Track down Edward Freeling. That's who I'm looking for. I'm also looking for a circuit board. Which should be on somebody's body, I think. In a lower level. So how are you doing, Foxy B? Atrium. Oh, let's go to the atrium. Shoot. Hi, friends. I'm getting poisoned. You just realized you're wearing power armor. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't take it off. I meant to. It didn't happen, though. And I don't want to lose it here. Not right even down here. Okay, let's just go. I'm doing great. Playing a game. I got a call from my kid's teacher because he's not turning in his homework. So that part's not great. We have to crack the whip when he gets home and he gets home at like five o'clock at night, <laughs> like 4.45. Due to the current alert level, all elevators have been security locked by the request of the overseer. Okay, I already read that one. I'm excited. How old is he? He's in sixth grade, so it's kind of, I guess it's normal. I never experienced this. I always did my homework to perfection. That's the kind of person I am. I like it perfect. <laughs> Or there's no point in if I can't do it perfect, we're not even gonna try. You have no clue what sixth grade is. He's eleven years old. He's been going to school for seven years. I know it's confusing. It's because there's kindergarten. Kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleven, twelve. And then you go to college. Year six, I guess so, yeah. Very similar. I think is it in in France they call it like they go they count backwards. Somewhere they count backwards, I think. It's confusing. He's in middle school. No clue if it's normal. Were you not like that? My my husband was like that. He didn't I don't want your security baton, but I picked it up anyways. My husband would do, I don't, I don't want to bug you. They said, why don't you just leave us alone? I don't know if you heard that. It was really quiet. Um, my husband used to do like the bare minimum and not want to do his homework and stuff. So he's like, this is very normal. And you know, other people say this can be normal. So, but it's not acceptable. You've got to do your homework. Ours goes from nursery, year one, to six in primary school, then seven to 11 in secondary school. Cool. But it goes in order. I think there's one um, place that like, goes backwards or does some funky stuff. Then either six form college or uni or work. Yeah. Edward Freeling. Appointment regarding engineering duties. Craig Thomas, school curriculum. We're looking for Edward Freeling, so. Overseer lunch break, and then Abigail Lewis, uh, complaints with Dr. Rittaker. Okay. It's 31st. Fleming. Not canceling karaoke night. Uh, Daniel Clark, not disclosed. Yeah, here we have, like, you can go to trade school and stuff, too, and pick up a trade, like, construction. Plot twist, Edward was one of those ghouls, and you just killed him. That would be unfortunate. Break the mod. 
Northern Springs, I broke that mod. I uninstalled that. I missed your head, I'm sorry. I'm just wasting bullets. I kind of like her outfit. I would so wear that. The yellow shorts and the blue striped shirt, yes. I thought this was a, the laboratory. Yes, here it is. I just don't know how to get him to be motivated to do the work. Or to self-motivate himself. Because, I mean, he shouldn't have to have me leaning over his shoulder being like, do your homework, do your homework, do your homework. Stop goofing off, do your homework. And the fact that, like, they have computers and stuff, so, like, you... You always have that kind of distraction of you're on the computer and you can be like googling stuff or playing some sort of game or whatever. So he has to be able to ah learn to overcome that, you know. Who's like shooting me? Oh, you're shooting me. Are they all dead? No, you're not dead! Dead now. He was having some alone time with that teddy bear. Don't try to motivate him, you won't. For now, stick to making him do it. With males eventually around 15 to 25 years old, a switch inside him will flick and he will go into full tilt career mode. Let's hope! Males just need longer to realize they'll F up their life if they don't. Well, like, I'm trying to, okay, so I'm trying to be, like, hands-off and, like, teach my kids to be independent. But he's not turning in his homework. And, you know, you want to make sure you give them the tools to be successful. <laughs> you guess yours is taking a while. I know, when will mine kick in? I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I mean, I'm 33, but I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I'm playing video games. I'll deal with that later. Right? What's this way? Upstairs. Yeah, that pretty much applies to you. Well, that's what I've heard is like, sometimes it's just like maturity level and stuff. Especially because, you know, guys can be a little bit more immature. And I would say he probably is a little bit immature. He's also like the youngest because of his birthday. You just called and quit. Are you serious? You did not. You did not, aimbot. Oh, your underwear is showing. I'm sorry. Don't look at her butt. Got it. Got it. Huh. Not look at that. Oh, no. no, you didn't. I didn't think you did. I didn't know their dresses flew up when you shot them. Okay, now we can go up the stairs. You're going to design a better Fallout than Bethesda? Awesome! I can't wait. Foxy B. He wants that 2070. <laughs> he ain't quitting soon. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah, you got to work to, like, pay for our hobbies. It's better than drugs, though. I'm prone. <laughs> Underneath her dress. Yeah, the new graphics card. You want the 2080 Ti? Oh my goodness. Gotta work a lot. And then there's gonna be something else, like, bigger and better. And then you're gonna want that. And then you're gonna want the next one, and the next one, and the next one. That's how I am. Hey, Catalyst Dragon. It's only $1,300. Okay, yeah, let, let me just go sell my kidney. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the bits, Ao Fresh. I am back. I'm playing Fallout 4. You're still stuck with a 760. I took my husband's graphics card. I had a different one. Nice. And I needed a better one. Oh, commissary bot. How nice of Oh, it's floating. Whoa. Whoa. There's some anti-gravity stuff going on in here. You still play Fallout 4? Yeah, as long as it can run Fallout 4, what else could you ask for? You still, uh, I did. 
<laughs> exactly. What's his is mine, and mine is mine. <laughs> He's going to be getting a new one, though, too, soon, um, Christmas. But he really only plays Hearthstone. Oh, and what else does he play? Something, too. Um, hold on. I know what it is. What is it? What do you play? What do you play? Some games. Let me look on his Steam account. I have not seen the RTX. He does, actually, he does kind of like Fortnite because he thinks it's pretty easy to play. It's relaxing and not so um, crazy. I try to get him on PUBG. I mean, he's good with a weapon in real life and he's trained with all that kind of stuff, so. What do you play? XCOM, he's playing XCOM. Oh, he likes Borderlands. We both like Borderlands. PUBG is better than Fortnite. I know, I try to get him to play it. Oh, he loves Rocket League. There's another one though. Um, Something, it's a second one. I don't know, it's an online player game. Destiny? No. What does he play? I don't know what he plays. Fortnite is filled. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I tell him. I love boneless pizza. You know, if you get anchovies on your pizza, they have bones in them. Dota. Maybe that's it. It might be Dota. Pre-war money. I'm not going to steal it. You can keep your money. Why, hello there. Would you be interested in seeing my wares? <laughs> he has an interesting voice. I'm sure everything tastes just Pineapple? Fine. Well, you know what? I kind of like pineapple juice on my pizza just to make it a little bit sweeter. I guess because it makes the sauce sweeter. But just pineapple? <laughs> my grandma likes pineapple and Canadian bacon. She's from Michigan. I guess that's a thing up there. Um, juice. Yeah, the pineapple juice. What are you still doing here? This place has quite literally gone to hell. Well, he's a robot. This is what he does. Why would I ask that question? What does it look like? I used to work for Papa fellow. John's for like I'm the commissary 10 years. It's nice warm duty to Stand better than... Yes. It is much better than turkey bacon, a.k.a. trash. Traditions. You gotta eat the real bacon. I love fat. I love fat. I eat so much butter. Fat. I love fat. Cream. Cream is good. I don't do a lot of sugar. Sugar gives me a tummy ache. But fat. I can eat all the fat. Have you noticed the abundance of walking corpses around here? Walking corpses. Oh, you mean yeah, let's call it a pineapple. Like Maybe because it looks like a pine I cone. I'm a little grumpy, of course, but they hardly pay me any mind. I'm sure we could figure that out. Give me a second. Now I gotta Google this. Let me Google that for you. Um, why is it called a pineapple? The word pineapple in English was first recorded to describe the reproductive organs of conifer trees, now termed pine cones. When European explorers encountered this tropical fruit in the Americas, they called them pineapples because they look like pine cones. There you go. Wikipedia. Truth. I read it on the internet. It's true. Oh, I'm glad you learned something new today. That's a good, that's a good thing. Learning new stuff. I love the internet. Man, I'm so old. I did not get the internet until 96 and I was in sixth grade. I was 11 years old. No, that's when I, yeah, that's when I got the internet, but it wasn't very good. Um, well, this was the last place I expected to find a merchant, but sure. The internet would never lie to us. Never. Why would it lie to us? Better write this down in your party Great notebook. Stuff. You may peruse at your leisure. You may peruse at your leisure. Why is he talking so funny? That's not your voice. Um, I think I need some more ammo. Let's just take it all. And then I'm going to sell him some crap that I don't want. Like this tire iron. I don't want that. Um, I, I'm going to keep that. 
Uh, what else do I want to get rid of? Probably, no, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Keep it all. You never know. You might need it. You want Kixer 5965 <laughs> to come to your next party? <laughs> I have Doritos. Knowledge is very sexy. Yeah, I would say so. I like, I like people that know stuff. I don't think I want that. I don't think I want that. And I, I'm just going to go ahead and keep that. Get rid of the suit. I don't wear a suit. Who wears a suit? I don't want that. Miscellaneous junk. Sure. Only trail mix. Trail mix is good. You can just pick out all the M and M's and and eat all like the cashews. Yeah, I have too much money. If you want some of it, I'll give it to you. We just have to wait till Fallout 76. I'm kind of curious how they're going to have the whole like trade thing work out in Fallout 76 because are there going to be bots? Because there's not going to be NPCs to sell to like at a shop. So I don't know what they're going to do. I'm nervous. I like to collect stuff and sell it. You can put the trail mix inside an empty Doritos bag. Don't wash the Doritos bag out. You can get all that kind of cheesy flavor with your trail mix. Why are you dead? I didn't even notice this one. But then the smell would confuse you. It'd be delicious. You know what's really good? Those Quaker, the Quaker mixes, like with the Quaker cereal. I can only find them at, at a where do I find them? Gas stations. I can't find them at the grocery store. You'll be able to set up your own shops and supply them. Will it be like you put stuff in like a vending machine, kind of like Seven Days to Die, where you have the vending machines and you can like put your... Is that how it's going to work? I hope not. I really want a vendor. It's not confirmed. Yes. You'd rather be confused and disappointed. I'm screaming. You think it's going to be a vendor machine? Oh, I don't want to do a vending machine. Someone's got this locked. Go in this door. This this um, vault is actually much bigger than I thought it would be. Because it's a mod. I don't yes. expect something big. Just something small. Who are you? Oh! He has a wrench oh, no. in his head. Uh. No, no. Ah! Excuse you, Dr. Fart. Fardo. I don't know what he's hitting me with, but I don't like it. <laughs> Green stuff. Overseer's office key. So, um, anyways, back to this guy. Oh, it was a scalpel in his eyeball. That's messed up. A handprint. Where is Edward Keeling? F Fleming. Where's the Edward guy? It's going to be an actual trading system too, though. Like where you can sell your stuff and get caps for it? Or th is this going to be before caps? That's going to be awful. You gotta make friends though, so you can get the nuclear launch codes. You've gotta be super friendly to everybody. Uh, Mr. Freeling just left, sir. We've sent him back up to residential. Excellent, I assume everything went smoothly. Well, he showed up escorted by Dr. Whittaker, who asked us why this wasn't the sort of test she could perform up in the clinic, but we simply instructed her to wait out in the atrium. She was hesitant, but eventually obliged. 
In one of the new animation videos, it talks about selling guns for caps to other players. So you assume, okay, yeah. But I still want. I want someone I can sell to. Um, Overseer says, I see. It would seem we may need to keep an eye on her for the time being. So what happens now? Fardo says, well, four vials of blood were taken, which is more than enough needed to construct the serum. Isn't it a serum, not a serium? I don't know. We have the instructions you sent over, so the work will get immediately, will get underway immediately. It is Friday. Go grab a beer. I think I finished all my beers on Sunday. <laughs> um, Overseer says, "What? when can we expect it to be completed? Okay, so this is the um, shot. They're making a shot that they made everybody take. I'm going to sneeze. Ugh. I have a cold. I did. I had a bad day Sunday, so I drank my last beer. From my 11-year-old, I do live the crazy life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my 11-year-old was having some struggles with, with listening to me. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It was just a bad day. We had a bad day Sunday. I was up all night trying to calm down. I was so stressed out. I'm not ready to be a parent. Wine, wine sometimes gives me a tummy ache, I think because it has sugar. Besides, I prefer beer. I can't do like an IPA though, but I like beer. Stouts are good. Got it. A Hefeweizen is pretty good. A light beer is pretty good. Free beer is the best. Cold beer makes it even better. <laughs> I've already been up here, haven't I? Yes. How do we go to the overseer? Commissary. Why do you hate your job? You're good at it, aren't you? Thought this would take me to the overseer. So what are your thoughts on Amazon Prime? Not having ad block anymore. I'm super upset. Can you tell? And I mean, that's like one, one of like the good it. reasons you have Amazon Prime is... Twitch ads. You want to know another thing? Okay, so they were supposed to deliver something yesterday. And they were like, oh, never mind. It's going to come tomorrow, like today. So now I'm probably going to have the dogs barking because they, they always seem to deliver it while I'm streaming. I don't stream all day. It's only for a little bit. And it's always when I'm streaming. <sighs> no, like, I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, I understand. I understand Twitch is like... <laughs> Let me talk to you about Amazon. Another thing, like, I think Twitch is just doing, like, a money grab. Like, you guys are all, if you have the Prime and you've been, like, watching ad-free, it doesn't benefit me as an affiliate at all. It just benefits Twitch and partners. So I don't like that you're just shooting your little streamers in the foot. When you're big, it's easier to be big. I don't like it. I will go on. It's, it is so much easier to get viewers when you're a big streamer. Maybe not, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know! They keep increasing the prices. I'm just like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I do like to shop on Amazon. But I don't know. Maybe they will just allow affiliates to get some of the revenue. Please. Please and thank you. So this guy looks like he's friendly. What's that noise? It's me. Oh, talk to me, buddy. Let's do this. I, no. I wanted to have a nice conversation with you, but I'm shooting you in the head. I guess the arm. I'm shooting you in the arm. Oh, a scoped 44 pistol. You use Twitch Prime for the free games. I don't use the free games. Big corpse. I, yeah. I don't need a big corp. Oh, he smashed that. Must have been mad at it. All the trolls online just smashed the computers. <laughs> Who are you calling a? What is it? How's it go? Who are you calling something? You lint liquor? <laughs> uh, this playthrough probably a lot. Hold on. Let me save it and then we'll look. Over nine days and 14 hours. 
on this one, on this one, nine days, 14 hours and 40 minutes. Who you calling pinhead? Plus all this if you order, it's worth it. Yeah, oh see, I don't see it. I don't really watch the stuff on Amazon Prime. I do like the free subs, so that's nice. And yeah, I do a lot of shopping online because like lots of times like, okay, so my oldest is not gaining enough weight. So we have to buy like supplemental food and it's really expensive, but I can buy it on Amazon for cheaper, surprisingly. This game is easy if you just grind lower level. Yeah, and hide, run away from upper levels. Yep. I also like to uh, snipe. So like I'll shoot them from afar so they don't see me and they don't attack me and it's all good. And then I just wait till I'm like, hidden again and then I go after them again yeah I do too my husband ordered some new shoes on there because it was cheaper than buying it from the store here sniping is a good strategy also I, I'm a sniper I'm not a good sniper I'm just a sniper <laughs> I like to be far away so they don't see me Oh, cool. Vault 28 is designed to test the long-term effects of leaving an entire vault population under the watchful guidance of a virtual intelligence supercomputer. The vault inhabitants are to have no knowledge of this deception. After a cycle of 30 years, the VISC will recruit a new individual that it deems qualified to pose as the human overseer. The human overseer must carry out every instruction the VISC asks of him or her, no matter how much the instruction may conflict with his or her belief system. Failure to do so will result in your immediate termination, probably termination of life. Now the local store. I know it's sad, but you know, I got to save money. <laughs> Seen all those personal logs, knowing she's going to read them all. Stop! I like to know the stories. You're going <laughs> to you're gonna mow the lawn? Well, I probably, well, unless like you mow really fast. Because I'm getting off in 45 minutes, because that's when my kids come home. Um, <laughs> we hope you enjoy your rather relaxed role as vault overseer. Okay, so you're not even doing your own thing. Overseer. Oh, that's pretty funny. Every time I write overseer on my personal term or list, it's automatically adding quotation marks to it. Oh, that's mean. So ready to get stuck and get your hands dirty, leave your mark, and then you found out you're merely, merely an actor. That is so true. Um, that one says nothing. Just when I was contemplating shooting myself in the foot just to get some excitement, our vault was breached. Ooh. And number four. This was asking me to carry out an unusual instruction. We're to send Mr. Freeling over to research where we will take blood samples under the guise of a routine health check. In actuality, the DNA we obtain will be broken down so that a serum can be constructed. This is a serum designed by Visk that should, in theory, greatly boost the immune system of vault inhabitants. I'm not sure about any of this. I think we may be crossing into dangerous territory. Unlock main entrance door. Have fun mowing your lawn, though. I like weeding. I don't like mowing, though. Unlock the secret door. Where's the secret door? I didn't even notice that. I heard a door open, though. Oh! Yes. Ah! <laughs> this is awesome. I'm going into a secret area. It's a lot of stairs. What if, like, the overseer was handicapped? <gasps> Sorry. I, I'm here to rescue you. Can we talk? Why? Stop. I don't want to shoot you. Are you going to say stop as soon as you get almost dead? Nope, he's dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. His last letter. Take it. Edward's last letter. Um, Miscellaneous. Go down to ease. I have so much crap in my inventory. It's horrible. Edwards. Last letter. I'm not sure how long I have left. That bastard, Dr. Fardo, 
injected me with something else. When I threatened him to stop the inoculations, I'm not sure what it was, but I feel like I'm slipping away. My mind is becoming increasingly more unfocused. If anyone finds this note, please find my husband, Christopher Fredrickson, and tell him that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for leaving him. He was my world. Aww. Ooh, a key. Security storeroom key. We gotta go back and get in there now. Oh, look at this. Take it all. TV. Man, you just sit here and do everything. It's like, it's like my house. You've played 20 hours now, and there was two places where you run away and return with bigger guns. It's a huge factory. Yes, that's what I did. Like, I did it pretty early in the game, and like, but I just sniped it, and it was, it was pretty good. And, and then if they come on, like, they get on to me and they start chasing me, you just run away until you're hidden or far enough away that they on trigger. Access logs. Um, remote. Redacted. Transcription of the last meeting. What are you doing here, Edward? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. What's destroying me going to accomplish? Oh, he's trying to destroy this. Have you seen what you've done to them, the people you're supposed to protect? In their original biological states, they would not have survived up on the surface. They had to become stronger. No, 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 no. Yeah, you just started. It's pretty good. What do you think of it so far? 20 hours in. Have you played any other Fallout games? Spent all your ammo and guns in this factory, killing 30 plus guys, but then needed to escape and be handed. Aw, you can always come back there later. I think it's a fun game. I'm doing a mod though. Couldn't you have just waited the surface wasn't going anywhere? Due to the fatalities that occurred here, which resulted in the loss of essential personnel, I predicted that the citizens of the vault had a drastically reduced chance of survival. This is why contact with the surface was necessary. What? <gasps> what does that mean? This is Edward. I'm Alex. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. This mainframe damage detected. This mainframe disabled. Oh, that's so sad. Spend all your ammo. Oh, Fallout 1 is good. Yeah. I like Fallout 1, too. Have you ever played Wasteland, which is what Fallout's based on? Let's unlock the elevator. Because I've tried to play uh, Wasteland before they released it for the upgraded, like, PC games. Um, but it's okay. Is this going to take me to the security level? You just got a dog to help you in the quest. Everything's fine now. Yes! Dog meat. I like dog meat. I don't know where my dog meat is right now. So I'm kind of running solo. Fusion core, you always gotta take those. Fallout New Vegas is really fun too. Is this the exit? Okay, I'm gonna go back down and go to the security closet because I imagine there's something good in there. This was a fun little mod. It was perfect. I've been playing it for how long? Two hours. So the mod is like two hours. And that's that's if you read everything like I do. Elevator music makes it. I have a playthrough where I'm playing on survival. That's pretty fun too. See if I remember where I'm going. I have to repair my outfit. 
Oh, thank you for the bits. Gonna head on out with that big boy, 26 cents. The Well, hey, you can give me a penny. I'll still like it. Awesome, thank you so much. What am I doing? Hit the wrong button. Thank you for stopping by. Did they come back to life? Or did I miss it? No, I missed them earlier. Okay, I need the security area. Maybe this way? That's cafeteria. That's, that's the school. This is it! Oh, there's power armor in there. Oh, and a magazine. We love nice. magazines. Whoa, that's so much stuff! I'm just wearing a crappy power armor. It's okay. I'll just I'll just leave this one here. I'm getting kicked out of my suit. I'll go ahead and get out of it. Here. What is this? Submachine gun, don't want it. Ooh, fusion cores, oh my goodness. I already have like a hundred, but you know, take a hundred more. <laughs> Just throw your gun on the floor over here. It's fine, ooh, look at all this ammo. like that game that my kids play like they they're it's a wrestling game and it's free and it has two people and you have the pressure button and whoever presses the button more why would I need a camel ammo was weightless in this playthrough uh, but whoever presses the button faster they end up pushing like the other guy over so the person who presses faster wins I can always beat my kids I always impress them with my with my gaming skills. It's what moms are supposed to do, right? Show off to their kids. So Envy, are you playing on a console or a PC? Xbox One? Cool. Forgot I have to get this lady's stuff. Anna, whatever her name is. I haven't even been over here. Oh, oh you wish you had a PC? It's cheaper if you build your own. That's what I did. Stop eating me. I am not dinner. I've kind of always been a PC gamer though, so. Deadeye combat shotgun. Like I started, I think the first game I ever played was on the PC. Cause my dad was a gamer. He grew up in an arcade. You know, that the kind of gaming that was popular back then when he was growing up. 
I mean, he knew like everything about Pac-Man. That was his game, was Pac-Man. And then my mom really liked um, Pong, the one where the slide thingies and you bounce the ball back and forth. That's what she liked. What level am I? Just curious. This is Tommy 95, I'm level 95. So I've always played I've always played PC games. But then my first console was a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It's on the shelf behind my green screen actually. Um in a box. My kids have played on it too. I'm surprised that like it survived myself and my two younger sisters and like my youngest sister was 2 when we got it. And then like my kids have all played on it a ton. You'll buy a PC one day, but right now you're trying to you're trying some console games. Oh, you borrowed it from the library? That's a good idea. It's a very good idea. I love libraries. Come on, let me shoot you! Oh, that's unfortunate. You guys had a cave in. Where am I from? Um, the US. Where are you from? I'm like the middle of the US, Indiana. We do have very good libraries, thankfully. I bet this is gonna be a dead end and I shouldn't have even gone this way. Yeah, our library also does like eBooks and so I can use, um, I can use my um, phone and it has an app that I can use to borrow books, but I can only borrow for a month for ebooks. Ebooks or audiobooks or even like movies. You can borrow movies on there so you don't even have to go to the library. I've already done that. Just wanted to make sure. Here we go. We're heading on out. Yeah, we go to the library all the time. In fact, I just went to the library and got the book um, The Outsider by Stephen King and read that. I read that in like a week, I think. Less, less than a week? No, a week. Just over a week, I think. It was really good. I like Stephen King. I like the way he writes. He's a very good storyteller. I lose track of time when I'm reading him, usually. One book I couldn't read, um, it took me a while before I could read it, it was um, The Shining because I think I just had my son when I tried to read it and I was like, oh no, because it's like about a kid. So I'm just like, I can't read it. I started and I was like, I'm not going to be able to. Where are we at? Oh. oh, I think I know where this is. Why is my map messing up? Hey, Cactus Cooler, what is going on? Let's go talk to him. Oh, thank you. Hey, you're back. I actually have a cold today. I don't Anything? feel very good today. It's probably from one of my kids. Okay, so Vault 28. Have you heard of Vault 28? Actually, I have heard of that particular vault. 
In the last days, Edward and I were constantly getting bombarded with letters from Vault Tech. They were trying to get us into Vault 111, but we refused to be relocated to Sanctuary Hills. Vault 28 was their backup offer. We refused that too. You have lock picking, hacking, lucky perks in the beginning of the game. Any tips or maybe it must be about preferences since Fallout 4 hopefully is perfectly <laughs> Of course, it's a perfectly balanced game. Um, I don't know. Lots of people play it different ways, so I would say it probably is pretty balanced. Like, you could just do whatever you want. You don't have to necessarily follow a certain path. Um, if you're doing survival, there are other, like, there, there are things and ways that you can spend your points to make it better. But yeah, hacking, lockpicking, those are pretty good because then you can get in places. Um, I tend to not, I think I don't usually do luck. I like charisma because then you get more, um, talking options. Uh, not to be too personal, but how old are you, Chris? Now that's a good question. Would you believe me if I said I honestly couldn't remember? How can you not remember how old I am? I can't remember how old I am. I just sometimes. stopped counting birthdays. I got it down right now. But on my next birthday, I'm going to start messing it up again. I'm not entirely sure where to begin with this, but I'll do my best. It takes so long to read that. Maybe you'll become a thief. I love thieving. Moving lots of stuff around Warden with red tucks. You found your husband. As it turns out, that person he'd been communicating with over his radio wasn't a person at all. It was a computer, and it was manipulating him. That's so sad. I liked this story, though. It was a good story. I liked this. Come on, come on, I'm done. I wish I'd click a button. This computer was in control of a vault, and it needed Edward's skills as well as his DNA. Now we wait five more minutes for the next bit to pop up. Edward's DNA was then used to create a serum, which the computer forced onto the people of Vault 28. Edward tried to stop it, but then they injected him with something that eventually took his mind. When I found him, there wasn't much left. I'm sorry. Do you believe me? I'm, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I said it funny. <laughs> I don't sound very sorry. I... Wow. This is an awful lot to take in. My Edward... He was alive and below my feet all these years. You, you know, should have gone after crazy, him, Chris. Should have been I his knight in shining knew armor. He wasn't too far. I could just feel it, you know. Well, well now he's buried below your house. the answers I was hoping for, but they are answers. I guess all that's left now is for me to finally leave this depressing place. Thanks, kid. I was wrong about you. It's not much, but. I don't caps. need your caps. I have plenty. Man, I don't need more caps. I'm spoiling you with the game. You could start all over again. I'm not spoiling you. <laughs> okay, I gotta go give this thing to her. Spoil with someone. I don't know if that's English, but maybe you understand my point. Oh man, I forgot. I'm gonna have to like climb back out. Should have done it when I was in there. stuck <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say oh, I'm so stuck oh, I got out thank goodness are you trying to say like I spoiled the game for you or like is it a good thing or a bad thing 
Hopefully it's not bad. Why are you down here? Ah. This story. Oh, this story? This is a mod, so it's not in the game. This is like an add-on thing. Okay, where's the lady at? It's not bad, it's your choice to come over here, he didn't force you. Well, it's not like it's... Oh, the cat. I was like, what was that noise? It's not like I spoiled Hi. the game hey, for you. Back. you have I haven't told you anything about the game. This is outside the game, it's just in the game. It's a mod. Um, what will you do now? So what will you do once you have your circuit board? I, did I not give it to him, like, holding it over her head? Well, seeing as we cleared up the lower levels... I think I might go down and explore parts of the vault that I haven't been to in decades. After that, I'll probably make my way to I the I wish surface. I could stay looking 25 forever and just stay alive and be super smart. Be like, I look like I'm a 25 year old, but actually I have the knowledge of a 90 year old. Um, I found it, here you go. I think I found it, it was in the toolbox just like you said, and it said it was yours, so I'm thinking it was yours. What, seriously? Here, let me hold it. Oh my, this is it. Oh I can't God. believe you did this for me. I so owe you. Now that I finally have something to remember my father by, I can actually start thinking about leaving this damn purgatory. Oh, wait, wait, I wanna talk some more to you. Hey, ma'am. Thank you so much for getting the board back to me. I can't do an awful lot with it. I'm actually older than she is, cause I was in the, the cryopod. I want to talk to, to you about Sanctuary Hills. Thank you so much for getting the board back to me. Okay, I guess let's go down. Let's go to the atrium. Somewhere, I will find it. So Envy, where are you from that you don't speak English? Bubble gum, potato crisp, ooh, a bottle cap, pens, another bottle cap, another bottle cap, Barber's Terminal, Scandinavia, oh, that's cool. I guess you want more APs, so find some perks to help me with that. Are you speaking English, but some things do mistakes so quite often? Twisted and tucked bob, what side part? I need to get my hair cut. Pompadour, buzz cut. Um, modern slicked back, high low fade, plus surgical line, plus long fringe. Wow, that seems like a lot. Uh, layered and outward feathered bob with fringes. Fringes are bangs. Sleek and smooth a high bun with side sweep. Wait, right, let's read the private chat logs. Hey, is Jerry over there with you? Hollister said she saw him getting off the elevator. Why, yes, he is, sweetie. Just finishing him up as we speak. Idle. I'll make sure you get him back looking gorgeous. Lay off the boy, Marge. I keep telling you, stick to men your own age like me. Oh, my goodness. In your dreams, Officer Cross, you've left the conversation. Interesting. Are you planning to start from the beginning at some point with a new character? I just did, actually, not too long ago. Um... 
I'm not too far into the game, but I'm doing it on a survival run. I just wanted to, to do some mods. So I do have a character. That I just started. Atrium, we found it. Yep, so she does, um, I just started her though. So in the survival run through, like, you thought it's somewhere in the end soon? I did finish this game. So this is what I use for mods because I've already, it's, I'm already a high enough level, they don't have to worry about it. Like being high enough level. I'm level 95, so pretty high. I don't know where to spend my points. How many points do I have right now? Oh, I only have one point. I must have just spent them on something. I did have like four. Ninety-five, yeah, yeah. I've been playing a while, and then I've also done some mods on this, so um, like mods with quests and stuff, so they still give you experience and you kill things. You're level twelve. See, I don't think my new character is even level twelve. I think she's like level four or five. She's still pretty early. And I'm gonna try to do a different playthrough because there are a few different choices you can make in the game, as you will discover. Not as many choices as in the previous games. Like this one, you still have kind of a linear storyline. More linear than I like. Well, that was a nice fun mod. I really enjoyed it. I like Grey Garden. You're not very happy with me right now, though. I've done things in this game that made my people not super happy. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I did all the quests in that. And my kids are going to be home from school in just a little bit. But that was fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And all the hosts I got. I got so many hosts. Oh my goodness. It was insane. I will be playing more of this game and also I'll be playing um, Fallout 76 when it comes out. But um, right now I'm feeling like Fallout 4 and PUBG and that seems to be what I switch back and forth between. It's 10 p.m. there. It is 2.42 in the afternoon here. So my kids get home just right around three but I gotta do some more stuff. Hey, no problem, it was fun. Thanks for stopping by, Torchwood. Also, let me leave. Oh, I already left. Those are links for other places you can find me. Um, this is the Cool Kids Discord, which I'm on pretty frequently. It also has a lot of other people, and they play um, a lot of PUBG and stuff on there. Your kid's sleeping. How old is your kid? My kids go to sleep between like eight and 10, because right now we have soccer and it goes until like 8.30 and then we gotta come home, get a snack, shower, and go to bed and it's like 10 or 10.30. Kids, how old are your kids? You have three kids, I do too. Mine are 11, seven, and five, almost six. Oh, a three-year-old. Oh, you don't have three. You just have a daughter. Oh, I wish I had a daughter. She would be so spoiled. Oh, my goodness. I would, like, do all the girly things. 
like paint her nails. I haven't painted my nails in forever, but I would probably paint my daughter's nails all the time. I don't know. That sounds like it'd be fun. I have to have like one of my sisters need to have a girl and then I got to like babysit all the time so I can be like paint your nails and do your hair. Gosh, that's got to be fun. Well, I got to get going. I got to do a few more. I got to switch the laundry over and stuff so I can spend time with them. And they do play consoles. They play. We used to have an Xbox, but it broke. Um, the DVD reader stopped. So it's not like the kids broke it. It's something inside broke. Wasn't that wonderful with Xbox? So um, they have a PlayStation 3, not a 4. And then we have um, a Wii and a Switch. And then we have two PCs and they share it. But we're thinking about getting a third PC within the next year or two. Because my youngest is on the computer more. So I think it'd be nice to have like the three computers. But they get all my hand-me-downs. They get all my hand-me-down computer pieces. So that's why we have two. But I got to go. I will talk to you guys later. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday about the same time. Noon my time. Eastern. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for stopping by.